Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz. Now come on, let's be honest with ourselves. We all like to rage, all of us, no matter who you are. And you know, we rage over strange things. Let's be perfectly, perfectly honest with ourselves. We rage because we think the MM is against us. We rage because we think the teams are just poor. We rage at the slightest thing. And nine times out of ten, we rage because our own gameplay, it sucks. It's as simple as that. We rage because we make mistakes. We rage because we need, like here, look, camper team. They're not camping. I can see they're not camping. I mean, they've already moved out of spawn. So it's hardly a camper team. But he's been given a hard time, so he's raging. It, and it happens, you know, I mean, his team has gone to the base. Uh, I don't know why he's done that. I mean, this is a tier 10 game. Don't know why he's gone to the base, but he has. Now, the thing is, I looked at some of the players in the list after this game, and, you know, it was, some of them are good players. That You know, they've got decent win rates, and they've got decent battle counts. So it wasn't like it was a noob team. Um, so we rage, and there's nothing anybody can do that will stop or prevent that. It is human nature. We just get frustrated. Maybe you've been in that losing queue and you've got that losing streak. Maybe the RNG was against you. Maybe, you know, you've just been teamed up with some new players who've got very low battle counts rolling out in their new shiny tier 10 tank. Who knows? But the slightest thing will make people rage. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't mind raging, to be to be fair. If players rage, as long as it's not abusive, then let them vent their frustrations. I get that. It's when they're abusive, it, it draws a line. But what I'm going to show you now, not this replay, but the next two replays, is players raging when realistically they shouldn't rage. And it comes back to bite them on the backside. And this is why I find certain videos and replays and gameplay so funny. Because you generally find that the people who rage play badly. And it's their fault the team didn't do as well as they should have done. And that is what is so ironic about raging. Oh, and I put that replay in just as a filler, so to speak. So here we go. These are two ratings battles I did yesterday. So I rolled out and the Tiger won. Why? Well, I decided to give the Tiger 1 a go in ratings. Why not? And as you can see, the T-34 is telling everybody to go to C. And while I'm not going anywhere near C, not in a Tiger 1, there is nothing there for me to hide behind and I will get smacked left, right and centre by all the big heavies on the opposing team. So already the T-34 is raging. And, you know... We haven't even started the game. And he's already annoyed at me because I'm not going the way he wants me to go. Now, a couple of things. One, he's a 60% plus. And I've told him that I am not going to see. Why would I? I mean, I'm going to get wasted at sea. As I was saying, he's a 60 plus percent win rate player with, I think it's about 6,000 battles. And this is one of the things. Guys, just because you've got that pretty you know, light blue win rate after a fair few hundred battles doesn't mean to say you are the bee's knees, I'll be honest with you, because that's not how it works. So he's going to rage the entire game, seriously. Um, he's not raging at the moment, but I'm going to give this M4 a bit of a hard time. Um, there are three tanks here, which means there are four tanks somewhere else. We've already lost the LTTB. And as I said, this is a ratings battle. So, you know, the idea is to pull together and to try and win. Now, I have no idea why they decided to go to C. Um, C is not a really good choice on this map when you're looking at supremacy. It's a very hard thing to cap because it's, f it's fairly wide open. We know that the majority of their tanks are there. So, realistically, all they should be doing is hunkering down... And, and protecting the cap, but they're not. They're actually pushing, and you know we've already lost two tanks over that side because they pushed. And in a moment, the T-34 is going to really start raging a lot. 
So he, there's somebody saying to the teeth of Thor, don't just snipe, because he is, he's sniping, by the way. He's, he's camping and he's sniping. So we've done what we needed to do over this side. To be honest, we, we've capped the base and we've taken out two of their tanks. We've also given their M4 a really hard time. Unfortunately, he escaped. And as you can see, the rest of our team is just getting whittled down over there. There goes the T-34. He's dead. He's gone. Boom. He's out of there. And now, here we go. Idiot's team. <laughs> Noob team. Now the rage begins. So he's going to rage. And he's going to rage, and he's going to rage, and he's going to rage. He's going to tell people to report me. He's telling me to delete the game. He's calling me a noob. <laughs> he's, he's just going to rage. Noob again. He's just going to keep on and on and on. And I'm not going to react at all. I'm just going to just carry on and play my game. Unfortunately, I'm in a Tiger 1. The IS-5 is pretty trolly for me. And I'm trying to get that lower plate. I just can't get it. And, it, you know, it's just a bad day in Bosnia for me. Maybe I can get the M4. Yes, I do. So now I've taken two kills. I've done 1,300 damage, about 600. I'm not going to be setting the wall on fire. It's me and the T-54 Mod 1 against four tanks. Four good tanks. Oof, oof. They're all heavies. Well, they're not all heavies, but they're pretty formidable. Now I can see that they're taking the C-cap. The IS-5, it's very difficult for me to pen. There's a guy in Ke from the clan K4, a good clan in Luva, sat over there. There he is. He is almost impossible for me to pen. He knows what he's doing. He knows that I can't hurt him. I'm going to try and get his hatch. I can't. It's all just bad. The IS-5, oh, thankfully misses, but I just don't load in time. I'm going to get out of there. There's now a tank, and it's an IS-3, coming up our backside. It's just bad. Not good. Thankfully, the T-34 stopped raging. I did send him a message in the chat afterwards. Nothing nasty, however. And I think, oh, well, you know, just the way it works. So let's have a look at if his rage was justified. So I lost 12 points. Now, this is the thing. I'm the lowest tier tank. I'm a tier 7. The T-34 did 371 damage. In a tier 8 damage machine. Come on. And that's the thing. He has no reason to rage no reason whatsoever because he's pants in that game so raging at other players because of your inability comes back to bite you guys this is me rolling out in another ratings battle this time i'm in a smasher um and this is an interesting game i mean i get wiped out pretty early on to be perfectly honest with you a game pretty low bottom tier there's a Hornet. Can we smack him with an HE roll? Yes, we can. We get a nice 996 into him. Now, there are some very good players on my team. And there is also some mediocre players. And the thing that gets me in this game is it's the good players who start raging again. And this game, I love this replay, by the way. I think this is a fantastic replay. And this proves my point about... You shouldn't be raging, guys, um, really. So now I've done 1,300 damage. Uh, unfortunately, I've got a T-34-3 coming to get me. I know he's coming to get me. I'm going to get smacked to kingdom come. He's a good player. He's in a good tank. Um, I'm going to roll him for 341 because I forgot to switch ammo. And anyway, he's going to take me out. Simple fact of life. I do 1,700 damage and, you know... Uh, this is sometimes the way the cookie crumbles. This is such a low roll as well on the HE because I hit his mantle at just 10. <laughs> and the charioteer comes in, but unfortunately I'm dead before anything. So now I want to switch to the T-49 because everybody is going to rage on the T-49. Now he's already got two kills, okay? And he's a pretty good player. He's got a lot of 50 odd percent win rate after 80 odd thousand battles. He's got two kills, he's done quite a bit of damage, and he's been pretty active. However, in a moment, the rage is going to be unbelievable against this poor guy. And it's going to come from the best player on our team. And he's going to rage because he's frustrated, because he gets wiped out. That's the only reason. You know, and I, I, I love this replay. And it, it proves my point that, realistically, you shouldn't rage sometimes. So, there we go, Furious Darkness, who's a very good player, by the way, is dead. Then he says, thank you, because he's not happy that he's dead. 
Now, he's got three kills. There he goes. Kill number four. So the T-49 has now got four kills. And well, in a minute, it, it's going to come. And I know it's going to come. <laughs> this is the thing. The, it, it's not abuse, I must admit. But um, he's going to get told off, basically. People are going to be unhappy with him. So now it's two against three. And the T-49 has done well. He's got four kills. And now it's one against three. He's going to take out the M4. There we go. Boom. Two against one. And here it comes. Report the T-49. Now the guy in the charioteer, he's a really, really good player. And he's from a really good clan, to be fair. And he's just annoyed because he's been wasted and I'm saying why he's on for a Raz and he is because he's the last tank left he's already got five kills there's only two out there they're both low shots um he could get a Raz here you know he's pretty healthy so I'm saying why why guys why report him he's doing well they said um, then then we get T39 use your brain I mean <laughs> poor charioteer He's, he, he is a really good player. I mean, he's, he's a really, really good player. And I think he's just frustrated because he's been wiped out. And then he's saying he's camping, he's not spotting. And like, well, you know, if he gets a Raz, then fair play to the guy. I mean, don't rage on him. You know, just because he's in a T-49 doesn't mean to say he's got to do all the spotting at the end of the day. It's a ratings battle. He's pulling his weight. What's the issue? And I know why the charity is raging. And I say here, if he wins and gets a Raz, then fair play. Because it is fair play. And the thing is, if people rage in like this, and he's saying, lose, animal. Um, and I don't understand that. I, I get the frustration. I really do. I understand that. I understand the frustration. But don't, don't do what you can to put the guy off, despite your frustrations. If you want to rage then rage but don't rage up to the point where you're now gonna you know put the player off now he's taken six kills he's doing really really well there you go he gets a raz unbelievable so everybody raged at him and they didn't need to because he's just carried the entire team he gets a well deserved raz he does 2000 not damn it i mean fair play to the guy now, I'm not trying to name and shame here. That's the chap who was in the uh, charioteer. And as you can see, he is a very good player. He was just frustrated. Now I'm going to show you the chap in the T-49. So this is the, uh, the player out in the T-49, bless him. And as you can see, he's also a good player. He's, he's got 80-odd thousand battles, 56% win rate. The guy knows what he's doing. And I'm really chuffed that he got a Raz. I'm really happy that he got a Raz. And you know what? I am also really happy that he was raged at because it goes to prove that you shouldn't just go out and rage at people. He carried that team. But for him, we would not have got ratings points. Simple as that. And as you can see, we all got ratings points thanks to the T49. He carried us. Simple fact of life. So, guys, if you're going to rage, be careful when you rage and who you rage at because sometimes you're raging at the wrong people anyway i have been fujit and that has been a quick video on well some people shouldn't rage really really i understand the frustrations of course i do by all means comment like and everything below if you haven't yet press subscribe it's a beautiful thing to do uh, if you've got any decent replays send them across to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my discord server whichever's easier as always, big shout out to my patrons who without their support videos like this would be a lot harder to do. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that is all it's all about, having fun and being happy.